This is a brief review of complex numbers, uh, which we'll be working with quite a lot. There are three representations that are uh, used the most. Uh, these are the rectangular, polar, and complex exponential forms. The rectangular form uh, just involves uh, writing down the real and imaginary parts, A and JB. The polar form is uh, just using polar coordinates to represent the same idea. And then the complex exponential is just another rendering of the uh, polar coordinate form. And we can illustrate this uh, just by sketching out the real and the imaginary axes and noting that uh, number uh, x might be uh, described by real and imaginary parts a and b. And if we thought about that in polar coordinates, we might have a vector of magnitude m and angle phi. The relationship between that and the uh, complex exponential form is given by the fact that e to the j phi is just equal to cosine phi plus j sine phi. And so if you had that quantity multiplied by m, that means that you have a real part, m cosine phi, and an imaginary part, m sine phi, that go together. Addition and subtraction are, uh, oh, sorry, the convergence between these forms are given by these formulas. This is from rectangular to polar form, and then this is from polar back to rectangular. Addition and subtraction is very easy to perform, especially using the rectangular form, where you just add up the uh, real parts separately and the imaginary parts separately to end up with uh, separate real and imaginary parts. As for multiplication and uh, division, those are less convenient to carry out in the rectangular form, and so that's really where the complex exponential form uh, becomes useful. If we have two complex exponentials that we're multiplying by each other, you just have to multiply the magnitudes, and then uh, the way um, the exponential works is that uh, the phases only need to be added. Similarly, when you divide, you have to divide the magnitudes and subtract the phases.